Now, I'm sure a lot of you are interested in my opinion on the Neo CC versus the Alt CC. Anyways, here's a commentary on some stupid Neo CC Alt CC scrubs. And yes, that was plural. Backstory! Just a Robot did a video talking about his problems with the group that has been so dubbed the Neo Commentary Community. We'll be getting to that video in a wee bit. In the meantime, first up, in this corner, weighing in at it's impolite to ask that of a woman pounds, the serpent who ate the sloth, nihilistic <laughs> <laughs> ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ha. Wait, what are we laughing about? <sighs> I knew you weren't done. I just knew you weren't done. You're just so predictable like that, you know? You couldn't resist. You absolutely had to come back to us. Says the guy impulsively jumping on a video that mentions him. And whom predictably removed it once I revealed that it was potential commentary material. Whom then uploaded a revised rendition sporting many of the same flawed arguments and took that new one down again after I commented, FUCK THIS HOUSE IS TRANSPARENT! So, as you can see, Jar made a rant on the Neo CC, and here's my response. Now, I'm in the fucking weeds with other videos, so I'm gonna make this quick. But let me just say right now that this video is pretty much Borg's message to the CC, as in it transitions into a rant on a specific person in the CC, and proceeds to say that the community sucks because of that person. Oh? What person are you talking about? Are you talking about when he was talking about MDXLR, since he gave her as an example of commentators talking about things they don't fully understand? Or how about when he gave Master TP10 as an example of commentators nitpicking videos? Oh, I suppose you must be referring to when he was talking about you and your commentary material playlist, or removing videos you get confronted about. Maybe when he talked about Serious Gamer 33 doing a shit commentary for shit's sake, I guess. Couldn't possibly be dirt bike right in with regards to hypocrisy and jumping into situations too quickly, potentially blinded by emotions. And it certainly can't be Doodle Tones because he didn't even actually address Doodle Tones or her content as a commentator, merely using her as a background context for talking about commentators being hypocrites and failing to accept when they make a rash judgment. No, seriously, what the fuck are you talking about? First, let's start with the wonderful label you've given us the Neo CC. Well, actually, call us cocks like the stupid SKW you are. But nah, let's go with Neo CC, since that's the one you and your fuck buddies have gone with. <laughs> he doesn't like us. Fuck this guy and all that he stands for. What does he even mean? No, I legit want to know how you came to that label of all things. It makes no sense since the CC isn't even new. It's been around for a while. Yeah. And that's exactly why the nomenclature makes sense, because the generation of the commentary community that surfaced in 2014 is different than that of the commentary community that was around in 2011 and 2012. Literally my first comment on this account was me making note of how this community was dead, and I'm gonna get my grubby mitts all over it. Next, let's talk about your complaint about our usage of avatars. You say that we change our avatars every video, or even sometimes during the video. Okay, care to give us any examples? You just say some commentators do this without even mentioning names. What? You're scared you might attract attention? Whatever happens to proving your points with evidence? Guess that doesn't apply here. Oh well. Yes, because I'm sure he wants to go through a shit ton of videos, likely by people he does not like, in order to find specific instances of people switching avatars, something he cannot readily tell from the thumbnail, unlike perhaps the content of the video. One second, I'm an ancient echidna girl. Next, bam, I'm a king. Snake, you watch me. You know damn ass well that I commentated on Dan Mad. Who did that? You also know damn well that plenty of commentators change avatars from video to video. Ryan's done this, Doodle Tones, Scarlet Otaku, Illini Guy 34, Acroloth, A360MTR, you, fucking me. Snake, he ain't trying to prove a thesis. He's simply stating why he doesn't like a thing. Oh, but don't you worry, honey. There's a whole bunch of other reasons why this crap is stupid. You then go on about com commentators covering subjects that they know nothing of. And you use MDXLR as an example. A commentator who doesn't have a very high reputation in the community and therefore can't represent all commentators. No, but she can certainly be used as an example for some of the bad ones. And it really shows you're stretching to find problems with us. Regarding your point about one-shots, yeah, I'd give you that if, if the CC already didn't harbor criticism against one-shots, even how it wasn't the pop-up nowadays. Jar must provide examples for what he deems to be a minor and personal complaint on his part. But lo, I am not required to provide examples for my counter-arguments. Clearly the fact that one-shots have died out in popularity, that means commentators hold reservations against the practice. Bitch, you hi? Then you go ahead and say we nitpick too much. And show us TP complaining about Morgan's poor sound editing. Your response is apparently the genius remark of, Oh, I didn't notice that someone's irrelevant. 
Yeah, which is fucking retarded, because if someone notices a flaw, as minor as it can be, they still have the right to point the flaw out. No picking would be stopping the video every two seconds to make a remark about someone's avatar being the color blue. No, that's repetitive and annoying. Also something that I did to an extent in the Dan Mad commentary because I couldn't fucking read the text because it blended into his avatar. Boom, instance where it's not a nitpick. Oh, wait, take a joke seriously. <laughs> now, here's where things get bad. Like, really fucking bad. Now, JAR is going to talk about commentary material playlists. The purpose of these playlists is to give commentators material if they are having a hard time finding material themselves. Speak for yourself. My material list is private. I just use it to keep track of videos when I haven't enough time to look into the video in full. For some reason, he decides to single me out for my playlist. For some reason? Totally not because he outright states that your playlist is crap. And he seems to have a problem with the fact that my playlist has a lot of anti-SJWs in it. Any videos in it. Oh no, his problem is that he ended up in there. Yeah, newsflash fuckface. I find anti-SJW videos to be shit. <laughs> it's not my fault most of, most of you are sexually frustrated faggots who think calling women cunts a hundred thousand times counts as an argument. He says while talking to someone whose sexual life he knows nothing about and who doesn't call women cunts throughout his video as an argument. Hey Snake, remember when you were all MDXLR doesn't represent all commentators? <sighs> as for why one of your videos showed up twice, well, it was a mistake that I have long since fixed. Get going, dickweed. And this is a fact he was supposed to know because... Wait though, it gets better. He has a problem with the fact that a lot of my commentaries aren't on anti-feminists, even though I've never really proclaimed my channel to be about tackling those people since I'm still kind of new to feminism. But he thinks he has it all figured out. <sighs> Snake, if you're still kind of new to feminism, then how can you confidently put anti-feminist videos onto a list of commentary material since you likely don't know enough about feminism to understand why their arguments are problematic? Also, wow! It's almost like this plays stupidly well into Jar's critique of commentators talking about things that they're too experienced in. Get going! According to Jar, I'm too much of a pussy, by the way, nice jab using female genitalia as an insult. Pussy as an insult is a short form of pusillanimous, which means to lack courage. You dumbass can't be bothered to do language research social justice droid. To commentate an anti-feminist because they'll respond to me, and I just want others to do my dirty work so they can take the hate for me. No, 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 fuck you! No, you fucking moron! I set up that playlist because I don't have all the time in the world to cover those videos and want others to take a crack at them. That doesn't make me a wannabe feminist. That means I'm a busy guy, you ignorant motherfucker. And the fact that most of those videos talk about anti-feminists and anti-SJWs, despite you claiming that you never said your channel was for covering those topics, wouldn't raise a brow because... Snake. As an example, my commentary playlist consists of videos that I actually have an interest in covering and doing the necessary research for, and this is evidenced by the fact that they are, in most cases, consistent in tone, subject matter, or arguments that can be found in my completed commentaries. By which I mean a gross amount of them are stupid deviantart weebs. If the majority of your suggested material for others to use talk about subjects that you, yourself, choose not to tackle, yeah. It does look like you're trying to get others to do the work for you. How about you stop trying to make me look bad and properly inform your audience of what's actually going on? Yeah, Jar Snake can make himself look bad! <laughs> <sighs> then he brings up Justin's video on him, and then says Ski's video on it was good, despite Ski responding to Jar as well. Fucking blow me. Except for the fact that he said the video was something he had no major problems with. He then spends the rest of the video bitching at Susie and Redden for shit that has long since been resolved. Ah, and this is the glory of the great cleansing of the commentators of 2016, when all notions of hypocrisy were wiped from the minds of commentators to create a perfect, articulately argumentative utopia, where double standards are a thing of the past, and everybody has taken the time to recognize all of their faults, therein improving past their imperfections. It is today, and with this, my commentary, brethren, that I dub us the Stepford Commentary Community. Heil faggot. And with Snake claiming that this video proves that Jar claims to never be wrong, we move on to the second traction. In this corner, weighing probably a heck of a lot because metal is heavy, the scrub who wants to be raped by Power Girl-esque Indian tits, Jar Jar the Robot. And in this corner, weighing in at about as much as you'd expect an SJW to weigh, constantly talking about having too many videos to work on so he can't tackle what's in his material playlist, but somehow still doesn't release videos frequently, Pussillanimous Snake! 
I would also like to preemptively thank Doodle Tones for editing these two videos together for me as it has made scripting and editing so much easier. Love you, do!